Hello and a very happy Thursday to you if you're watching me in real time. Welcome to the Liz Our Wellbeing Instagram Live. I'm going to do a deep dive today into one of my favourite topics and that is investigating biohacking and various little things that we can do to dramatically potentially improve our health. We're going to be talking about electrolytes. You may have seen me adding salt to my water in the morning and wondering why on earth is she doing that? So we're going to be talking about electrolytes. We're going to talk about butyrate, which is really interesting. Medium chain triglyceride when it comes into looking at gut health. And I'm going to be joined by a fab female founder. So yeah, what's not to love? Thanks. Thanks for all your hearts. I'm surrounded by balloons and cards and flowers and it's really good. I'm having a fantastic birthday week. Thank you so much for all your very kind messages and I am heading back home. I've got a party that I'm planning this weekend, so I shall be sure and pop lots of pictures and share some home behind the scenes over on Liz L. Me on my personal Instagram. So thank you for that. So I'm just going to first of all add Lainey here, who is going to be from my team as a moderator, just in case you've got any questions about the magazine or about anything that we're doing here at Liz Our Wellbeing, then she is the one that will be able to hop on and answer that. And then I'm now going to be joined by a really interesting lady called Jessica Kane Berman, who's joining us all the way from America. She is the granddaughter of one of the original biohackers. And her grandfather was a very, very interesting man and one of the first actually to be using electrolytes now, you may have seen on my Instagram that I use electrolytes, particularly first thing in the morning, I add them to my drinking water. And I've been looking around to get the right one. And you can make them yourself, but it's a bit of a faff and you've got to get the right balance of minerals. So it's, you have something pre-made is, is really handy. And I've been buying various sachets and powders and trying them all out. Most of them seem to come from America. They seem to be further ahead of the curve with all this than we are. And they are expensive to import and, you know, the little sachets are quite handy for traveling, but for every day, I think they are really quite pricey. So I was delighted to discover this on a British website, health.com. Now I have pronounced that correctly, health. So it's H-E-A-L-F, health.com. Brilliant website full of all sorts of things. Oh my gosh, I could spend a long time on that website. And they have given us very kindly on the Body Bio range, which is one of the key ranges that they stock, they have given us 15% off with our Liz Loves, okay? So it's not the actual brand, it's the health website. So make a note of that. I hope you've got pen and paper ready because you are gonna need it for this one. So health.com is where to go if you would like to stock up with the things that we talk about from Body Bio using the 15% discount code. Okay, so without further ado, to join us. Hopefully there won't be a delay. We are transatlantic, so we'll have to just manage that. If there is a delay, let me know. Yeah, electrolytes, really fascinating things. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Where are you? What time is it? Uh, Eastern, so it's 7.30 in the morning. Oh, okay, so nice and bright, bright and early. Thank you yeah. so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This, this is fascinating. Your grandfather sounds like an absolute legend. Tell us about him. So he was a serial entrepreneur and he had a, a steel factory in the 1980s had heavy metal toxicity and uh, was given a diagnosis, diagnosis of chronic fatigue and just wouldn't take that at face value. So he went on this kind of lifelong mission of figuring out how to get to the root cause of what was going on with his health. Um, and that brought him to starting Body Bio in the 1990s. And um, he developed blood tests. It was actually only, we only sold to practitioners until 2018. And oh. so it's now just available to, to everybody, but that's a more recent Thing we've done yeah fantastic now i mentioned in the little intro that we're going to be talking about electrolytes and you know you, you probably don't know this but i've been on a mission to educate everyone about electrolytes and to use them for myself since first being advised i mean i followed dave asprey and all those kind of you know guys out there um and i've read the salt fix yep uh, which is an extraordinary book talking about the importance of salt because so often, you know, we're told that we need to cut back on our sodium and it's so bad for us. 
And actually, these electrolytes, these minerals are absolutely key, aren't they? Do you want to talk us through what they are and why we need them? Of course. And I'm sure you've noticed when you take them in the morning, you get this awesome energy boost yeah. and a sustained energy boost. And it's because we are chronically dehydrated. Water is not enough in itself. And you need these minerals and these electrolytes to balance the, the body's profile of these critical minerals that are important for cellular health, almost every single body function that we have. And um, the interesting thing about Eli, my grandfather actually first developed it in the 80s. It was the first product he developed. He developed it in his bath tub. He was a marathon runner and he was getting leg cramps and there was nothing out there at the time. Now there's so many different options you can yeah. choose from. But he developed it in his bathtub and he would experiment using it when he was running on, you know, long distance running and his leg cramps were gone. And so it's incredibly useful to, to just balance the pH in the body, but he also formulated it in a way. So it's essentially the same as going into the hospital and getting an IV bag of fluids. Wow. It's a ringer solution. So it's that perfect balanced mimics the electrolyte levels in your blood identically. Okay. So we're really talking about sodium potassium and magnesium yeah is that right yeah. these three and you know we've we've seen actually in in the papers that there was an actor on stage who famously collapsed because he was over over hydrated just with water and when you drink too much water you actually lose that balance don't you because your balance of these minerals has gone all awry and you're just drinking water and diluting everything and actually we need concentrations of sodium, magnesium, potassium, as you say, in the right balance? A lot of minerals, really. I think that a long time ago, our foods were very well balanced with minerals, and now that's not the case. <laughs> and so through the, the way things are farmed and industrialized farming and processed foods, our foods have a lot less mineral content than they ever did. Yeah. And so if you're drinking just purified water, you're not yeah. going to get that mineral balance that you actually, your body needs to stay optimally hydrated. Yeah, that's interesting because I have various water filters at home at the moment and, and I, I'm, I'm trialing all sorts of different ones from distilled, reverse osmosis, jugs and under counter filters, you know, you name it. But I'm very aware that in drinking purer water, which is great because it's taking out nitrates and chlorine and all those things that I don't want, it's also taking out the minerals and I'm getting demineralized water. Yeah, so, so I actually, I back. use Elite in my reverse osmosis machine and I pour it into the water in the tank. And then I'll use that water. And then I actually add extra e-light for me personally, because I've become so used to the taste that I, yeah. I like the taste of it. Yeah. And I like that our e-light, something in particular, I think you'll, you'll see a ton of different options out there. And there's a lot of the sachets, which are wonderful, great for travel. They have sweeteners, they have natural flavors, they have stevia, yeah. and these things are fine. Yeah. every once in a while yeah. but stevia every day is not healthy for your gut no and I, so I think this is an easy way yeah and you know i am a little bit concerned also that even with stevia which i think is, is a good sugar alternative that actually when your taste receptors taste something sweet that can potentially trigger an insulin response even though you haven't got any sugars Exactly. So, you know, it's quite a complicated and because this is also new, you know, the data just isn't there. So I think if you can go for something plain and unsweetened, you, you are better off. So with this, you call it E. So this is e light, mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's literally a teaspoon in a glass of water. Yep. Yeah. I, I sometimes so. If you are very, very active, you can preload it and just take a shot of it. That's Could for you? people who are a little bit more hardcore. Okay. I put it in soups. I put it in stews. I put it in, you can put it in tea if you'd like. You can put it in smoothies. Wow. I like to drink it first thing in the morning, yeah, particularly. And then I, I just have it in my, I like to carry like one of those large water bottles throughout yeah. the day yeah. just to make sure that I stay hydrated. But I always keep e light in there. That's so interesting. And I guess in a way, it's a bit like drinking mineral water. Yeah. And here in Europe, you know, we have various brands like Volvic and Badois, which are quite highly mineralized. 
But of course, you know, A, they're expensive and it's single use plastic, which is really not good. Yeah. But also you're not really drinking them specifically for the electrolyte balance. You yeah. know, they just happen to be naturally occurring from the ground and they might be higher in sodium and not have the potassium or might not have the magnesium. Exactly. Tell us about the, the types of sodium. Does that, does that matter? You know, a lot of people say you need to have Himalayan rock salt or sea salt or... Sure. You know, sure. we, we can't just use table salt, can we? Because is that is that de-ionized? I, I forget. It's quite complicated. It is. Um, you don't want to use table salt. Okay. Now, lately, there has been a push towards rock salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. Salts that are mineralized that have not been processed are great. They are going to provide sodium. Yeah. They will provide small elements of trace minerals as well, since those come from where they are taking those salts mm -hmm. from. However, if you do not have an exact breakdown, you don't know sure. what trace sure. minerals it has in there. Sure. And so sure. in the States, we have a couple great brands. There's one called Crucial Four that I know is in Canada, Redmond's Real Salts yeah. in, out of Utah. Yeah. They're really proponents of here are the, this is the mineral content in our salt. And so you know. Yeah. And I yeah. think putting a, you know, a dash of salt in your morning water is a great way to increase sodium levels. That's, that's I what I want. do. That's what I, I do. First great. thing, I have a little travel grinder of Himalayan rock salt. And, you know, if I haven't got my electrolytes or, yeah. you know, I haven't got, whoops, I've got this with me, then I will just do a little bit of that. And that little pinch of salt, it's extraordinary how much energy it gives you. And you rehydrate. Really yeah. important, isn't it, to rehydrate after the night. You get so dehydrated overnight. Yeah. And so dehydrated. Of course, from, so you know, my community here tends to be, you know, mostly midlife women, and then you're talking perimenopause, menopause, night sweats. You know, losing so much water. Yeah. And of course, exercise. So sweating during exercise. Any kind of exercise, sauna. We all know how important these saunas yeah. are, and that is critical for hydration and uh, electrolytes. And if you're not hydrating, it, it's, they're not going to have the effects that you want them to. The workout, yep. the sauna, any of these exercises. Yeah, sure. Can we overdo it? Can we have too many electrolytes? I mean, I'm sure you could. <laughs> like anything, you can have too many. You have too many anything carrots. You know, excess, you calories. know, moderation yeah, yeah. for everything. Yeah. And you can add them to hot drinks. You were saying that you add it to soups and you, you cook with it. I mean, basically, do you basically remineralize all your water that you're doing Always. and that's that's just it that's just standard anything that you're using water i do we also have a um this premix liquid mineral i think it's available in the uk it's sold out in the states right now okay. um okay. but it is available in the uk and that's another really interesting one that i use a lot in smoothies because that has higher levels of the other very important macro minerals so so there's macro minerals and trace minerals Tell and us the difference between macro minerals and trace minerals. It's, it, if you look them up, it's very interesting. There's, there's a, a list of specific macro minerals. Trace minerals actually can be small levels of things like lead and mercury and cadmium and all these different things, but they're in these very, very, very tiny proportions mm. and they come from the earth. And so we want a balance of those two. And I, I think that mm. we don't do actual trace minerals. There's other companies that focus on trace minerals. But yeah. ours are a, a premixed mineral that most people need because they're so demineralized. Demineralization, it's, it's, yeah, it's tragic what's happened to our soils with yeah. intensive farming over the years. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, that's a whole other story, isn't it? Gail is asking if we would take pre or post exercise in the morning. I, to be honest, I do both. How yeah. about you? Both. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> so really first, personal preference. Yeah. First thing in the morning, I get up and I try and kind of load my hydration in. So I'll have two glasses of water in my bathroom. So I do yep. have this in my bathroom now and my jug of water, my filtered water that I put there from the night before. That's the first thing I do, you know, and then brush my teeth and do all of that. If I'm then going to work out, I'll go work out and then I'm all kind of hot and sweaty afterwards. And then I'll replenish exactly. with some more electrolytes in my water. Exactly. Yeah. That's um, the best way. I think it's... It's, I think it's great. And I'm so pleased we've discovered you because you are, you know, you're, you're good value and Thank you. it's easy. It is. Uh, and it's, you know, as you say, you can just add a splash into anything and it's so simple. You know, what I love about these biohackers is, you know, and your granddad was ahead of the curve is that these little things, they are exactly that. They're little hacks yeah. that you add in. You're not having to give up stuff or totally change your life, but these little hacks to tweak 
your biochemistry and the way the body is working makes such a difference. It does. And Eli, I mean, I know it's your, it was your birthday. So if yeah. you're drinking alcohol, it's a lifesaver because you're dehydrated. Remember that. <laughs> and it is the greatest thing to just take a little swig, drink with some water in your bedside before you go to sleep first thing in the morning. It is, it is game changing for that. Okay. Okay, well, I might be putting that to the test this weekend. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, let's move, let's move on and talk about something else, which I think is fascinating, which we've never talked about here before, and that's butyrate. Now, as I understand it, butyrate is an essential fatty acid. You find it in butter, hence the name. Yep. Butyrate, butter, that's kind of where it's come from. Um, another reason why we should be eating butter and chuck out all those horrible hydrogenated fake spreads full of seed oil. Tell us about butyrate. What is it? What's it for? Who should take it? How do we benefit by it? Butyrate's fascinating. It's, it's something that my grandfather started working with with doctors 30 years ago. And it's now become very popular. And it's known as a postbiotic. So there's pre-probiotics and then there's postbiotics. And a postbiotic is a byproduct. It's a molecule that's produced in the gut when you have a very balanced, very healthy microbiome, which yes. is pretty much no one these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not even me. I've done all those tests and I'm... We can it's do good, but it's not all perfect. the things. You can do <laughs> everything. I mean, I have so much access to so many great doctors and great supplements. I do not have a healthy gut. It is, it's yeah. hard. It and it's a constant, it's a, something I'm constantly working on. Mm. So butyrate is a really, really important critical molecule for your gut health, your immune health, for your cellular health and your brain health. Mm. And so my grandfather was actually using it with neurodegeneration and with people with chronic illness. Mm. And what they were finding is a lot of people have low levels of butyrate as they age. So there's as we age, we have decreased levels of butyrate because we are eating less resistant starch than ever. So this is plantains, green bananas, um, uh, cooled and cooked mashed potatoes, rice. Don't have, don't have any of that. <laughs> so we're not eating any of these things. Yeah. Combine that with the fact that many of us have taken many courses of antibiotics over the years, yeah. and we lose those bacteria that produce butyrate. There's only a few strains of bacteria that actually produce butyrate. So these two things combined together have created a systemic low levels of butyrate. And it's become a, a supplement that's very popular because I think people are so desperate in their pursuit for better gut health to yeah. find solutions, and it's a very effective way to help regularity, help blood sugar regulation, help uh, gas and bloating. And it mm. also works beautifully on a, the cellular level. It's a very interesting thing because it combats a lot of the bad things that we eat. So when we eat rancid vegetable oils, for instance, yeah. and we eat out in a restaurant, surely they're not cooking everything in perfect oils and butter. Yeah. Butyrate will actually combat that at the cellular level. So it's great to take just on a daily basis and great. have a staple supplement. And, and could you take an extra one before going out to eat out, you know, with, I don't know, with friends or with, you know, going I out to take it after. Oh, after. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I actually do, there's a couple different like biohacks. Dave Asprey takes it before bed to help with sleep. I take it two caps tw uh, twice a day before and after meals. And I actually use it for blood sugar regulation. And so it really helps with that insulin spikes that you get after a meal. And so if you have a little something cheeky, you want to have yeah, a little yeah. cake, have beauty. A little bit of birthday cake. Oh, I wish I'd known that. I could have had some yesterday. I'm going to be taking some today. I've got some leftover cake. Yeah. <laughs> I love this question. Somebody just posted, what's wrong with potatoes? Nothing's wrong with potatoes. No, nothing's wrong with potato. We were talking about resistant starch. Yes. And that is that you, that you get if you eat cold mashed potato or cold rice. It's, it's a type of fiber that makes mm -hmm. it through. It's, it's a, a dietary it's fiber that makes it through the digestive tract so yeah. that these specific bacteria eat them and then they produce butyrate. They it's just that that process has become hindered. So basically these postbiotics, they are things that our probiotic gut bacteria are producing for us. Yeah. And it's protecting that epithelial, very, very fine layer that, that sort of surrounds our microbiome. 
And if we don't have that, then, you know, we can be more susceptible to things like leaky gut, right. can't we? Food intolerance, gluten intolerance, all of that. Yeah. And, and just get an over proliferation of the bad bacteria. Exactly. Whereas the, the butyrate is supporting the good bug, to, good bug bacteria and helping with insulin resistance. And interesting that Dave Asprey takes it for sleep. What's the connection with sleep? It helps with, I mean, he takes the CalMag butyrate. There's two different types, no difference between the two, just the different minerals that yeah. we, we use to alkalize them. But um, he takes it because there have been a lot of studies. There's over 5,000 studies using butyrate. There's a lot of studies that show it helps with sleep when taken at night. How interesting. Yeah, Victoria is asking if you, if you get the cold potatoes or pasta, can you reheat them? Is it still resistant? The answer, as I understand it, is yes. Yeah, not pasta. And that's actually but what I do. You know, I rarely eat pasta, um, but my ex is half Italian and, you know, we spend quite a lot of time in Italy. And if I'm cooking pasta, I will always pre-cook it. Exactly. Put it in the fridge, chill it, you know, just, just let it go cold. Don't put hot pasta in the fridge because then you've raised the temperature of the fridge. But let it, go, let it cool. I put it in the fridge for an hour or however, overnight, whenever. And then if I want to cook it, you know, for myself or the kids, I just dunk it into boiling water. So, A, that's a real quick kind of cooking yep. bag. But it also means it has more of the resistant starch, which the, the, the good gut bugs are going to like. Exactly. So in, if, in terms of who should take this, it kind of sounds as if everybody should, but you know, I mean, we take so much these days. Who, who do you think is particularly going to benefit? Everyone, um, anybody who thinks they're suffering with leaky gut, everybody who, anyone who's a regular, anyone who has IBS, anyone who, you know, for me, I was on a, a, a pursuit throughout most of my twenties and it wasn't until I sat down with my grandfather and he said, uh, you need this. Um, but I had, I had poor gut health and I just had a ton of health issues from it. Really? Um, remember that your immune system is housed in your gut. Yeah. Your, your brain function has to do with your gut, your mood, your hormones. There's so many things that are, are regulated by our gut. And so taking care of that, I think is important for everyone. I will preface butyrate. I'm sure you've opened it and there is a scent to it. Okay. So I always recommend that people put the caps into the oh, capsule. Yeah. You put the little capsules and pour them into the cap and then I take it from the cap. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it has a, yeah, slightly, I don't know. It tastes like, it smells almost like butter, I guess. Butter, is that <laughs> or like Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Parmesan. Definitely. Yeah. So where does it come from then? Is it actually from butter? Where, where do you get it? Where, where do you make it's it? Actually, it's synthetically made yeah. butyrate, but so um, it's, it's just it's, the chemical of butyrate that you would, would always, do you find exactly. it in butter? Is, is that you right? Just, Ferric acid is found in butter. You would just need to eat massive amounts of yeah. butter to get what is equivalent to one capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely eat butter, and I I still take butyrate. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. No, I I love butter. I have a lot of butter too. Um, and it's a medium chain triglyceride. Is that right? So butyrate's actually a short chain fatty acid, which I love okay. saying that because to most people it's like, okay, well, what what is that? And it's, I mean, I think that. There's a ton of different fatty acids and essential fatty acids. Yeah. The way that we manufacture the butyrate does have MCT oil with it in Got order you. to make sure that it gets to the colon. So okay. that's really just in the way that it's processed and the way that it's actually manufactured to ensure that it gets where it needs to go. We are a company that from day one, we do not put things that do not need to be in supplements in there. No. And we check is. everything extremely thoroughly to make sure that what you are getting yeah is what is on that label and what's in that capsule. Okay, so the medium chain triglyceride that's in there, the MCT, the is there just to help to, to get the butyrate actually where you need it into the gut. To enterically coat the butyric acid so that it gets there. Okay, and if we start to take this, if you are somebody that does have gut issues and they're thinking this sounds absolutely up my street, how quickly would you say it starts to work? I mean, within two days, right yeah. away. Mm -hmm. really right away those gut bugs they sure are active aren't they they are and i think so many of us have taken probiotics for so long and not found what we need yeah. out of them and i think that the new the new research in probiotics is really that it's much more nuanced than we've ever thought it is taking yep. these high cfu counts and refrigerated yeah. this and that actually may not be serving us and and oftentimes we're passing those bacteria right through our body because that's not the bacteria that we need but 
But I think in, in that conversation, you know, our microbiome needs to be working for us. Yeah. So we need to support it. So it's about, you know, repopulating where we need to with good probiotics and making sure that we have a very diverse diet, et cetera, so that we get exposed to all those bugs. But then it's encouraging them to do the work on their own, you know, yeah. for them to produce the butyrate and for them to flourish and grow. Yeah. And fascinating, this conversation, you know, we started off certainly here at Liz Our Wellbeing, we were talking about probiotics. Then we moved into prebiotics and resistant starch and, you know, by immuno probiotics, the GOS and the FOS and the glucooligosaccharides and all of that. And now we're moving the conversation on to postbiotics. Yeah. <laughs> Postbiotics are, are going to be the, the future of gut health, I'm sure. Way I mean, ahead. You've seen the it in, in the people that we're speaking to in, in the universities and the labs. Um, mm. The NIH just requested our butyrate. Um, it's really? Just, it's nonstop. We're doing a couple studies in England um, with yeah. universities there. And uh, I think that there's a lot of applications for use for butyrate. And, and yeah. it's, it's very exciting because I think at the end of the day, what butyrate does for the body is it creates a happy home for the gut. Uh -huh. And it starts to create that balanced microbiome that then those good bacteria can flourish and utilize those great dietary fibers you're eating. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. And I love the fact that we can now buy it in the UK because mm -hmm. so much of this good stuff, this cutting edge stuff that you're talking about is American based. And, you know, I've ordered so much stuff in the past and, you know, the shipping is a fortune. Yeah. We have to pay duty, import tax, all of that, you know, and it takes forever. <laughs> but, you know, you, you guys over there, you really are at the sharp end of so much of this. And, I, you know, I follow a lot of American medics and researchers and academics. Yeah. You know, I can see it all coming over here. So the fact that, that we can get it, you know, through health. Uh, that website is is great. And they've got a really nice service, actually. I really like them. So you've, you've, you've picked a good partner. Good. I'm glad. My husband and I, we lived in London for 10 years. And we are, we're actually UK citizens. So oh. we're very proud to be able to have the products over there. And it yeah. was something that when we when we came back to uh, take over the business in 2017, it was really a, we have to make sure that we're in the UK because yeah. then we can stay ahead of what the other companies in America are doing. Totally, totally, totally. Jessica, it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for giving us this early hour Thank in you. New York. I can Thank see you a little bit of the skyline behind you. Wish you continued success. I will massively um, follow and watch your brand and, and hope that it grows here in the UK. Lovely with that backstory with your grandfather. It's just, just great. Thank you so much. Thank for being you. Here today. We'll have a wonderful birthday weekend. Thank you. Nice you, to see you. You too. You, you have to click off on the, on the little square. Otherwise I might lose everybody. Isn't that just so fascinating? Told you, told you it'd be a good one. Did you have your pencil and paper? might have to rewatch. We will save this, okay? So if you're late to the party, please go back and rewatch the whole thing because the two things here that we were talking about fundamentally important for us. First of all, electrolytes. And we had a very good discussion. I thought I thought she explained it really well what electrolytes are, why we need them, why they're so safe, why they are essential on a daily basis. This is the one that you will genuinely find now in my bathroom. I'm thrilled to have discovered it. As I say, I used to import all this expensive stuff from America, um, and now I can get this. It's health.com, H-E-A-L-F, health.com. I think it might have been started by two brothers. Anyway, they're a lovely brand. I, I buy a lot of different things from there. You'll love it. You know, you'll, you'll really love that brand. Our discount code is just on Body Bio, though, okay? So it won't apply to everything in your basket on there, but do go and have a look because they are, they are terrific guys. So Body Bio is the brand on health.com. And you just, at the checkout, if you're on health.com, you just use Body Bio, you just use um, Liz Loves, <laughs> and then you get your, your discount on those products. They've got a whole range there, actually. It's not just the electrolytes and the butyrate. So there might be other things from Body Bio that you quite fancy while you're there. But yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I've looked at the data. If you want to go and look at the evidence, you can go to PubMed, which is the mothership for all the meta-analysis, the proper peer-reviewed, clinically published papers, lots on butyrate. Uh, maybe you heard it here first. So we like to bring you a bit of gut-friendly news, but it is one of those genuinely good things that we are all needing. And I can think of several members of my family, actually, with gut issues that need to be on butyrate.
Um, and I'm going to take it too. And if it's good enough for Dave Asprey to have at bedtime, well, that might just get added into my regime as well. That's it for today. I hope you caught my live earlier this week with Apinke, the founder of Echo Botanicals. Oh my gosh, isn't she lovely? So this, I've just done my three steps before starting on this. So I did my ritual cleansing oil, smells amazing, Amina. They're all called after warrior queens, African warrior queens. Can you see Amina, Nefertiti and Makeda? Extraordinary, love all that. So I use the oil with a cloth in the shower and then I use the serum, which is the radiant serum, Nefertiti radiant serum, and then the botanical oil. That's it. That's what I have on my skin. I didn't use a moisturizer. My skin is really soft. It feels really glowing. It's not dry. It's not stripped. Um, I did check out the discount code because I just wanted to make sure it was all working before the live. And it is, she's given us 20% off with Liz Loves. And if you're interested in that three-step regime, and I certainly suggest if you want to try something new, perhaps as we step into the summer months, if you want to try something very good for plumping and smoothing and rehydrating, it's not the cheapest, quality of the ingredients is exceptional. She's got a bundle where you get all three together, the three steps, that's all you need, don't need any other skincare, just those three steps. So there's a bundle that's discounted and quite cheekily, I tapped in our discount code and it does work on that. So it brings the price down even more. So that is Eco Skincare, .co.uk, E-K-O, E-K-O, skincare.co.uk. And she, uh, yeah, she's great and love all that. So just to say, I've just seen a comment here, which I'm going to read out because people on Catch Up won't be able to see it, is that, um, yeah, We Are Health, uh, they have an Instagram account. So that's the, the website where you can get Echo, but um, what am I talking about here? Body Bio. Uh, and they have a very good Q&A and advice so if you if you have particular medical questions, um, but there's so much going on online about electrolytes at the moment. And the other thing that I'm really loving in my bathroom is the he she. Has anybody got their botanical tanning? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. The gradual tan. I love this. This is the overnight hyaluronic acid tan balm. Doesn't turn you orange. Just gives you little bit of a glow and you can obviously build it up. I'm waiting to the summer to build mine up. But you know, I'm sitting here, you can't actually see, but I haven't got any tights on. Um, and my legs are no longer pasty white. So love that, lovely brand from female founders in over in Belfast. And we've got 20% off with Liz Loves. And that's he hyphen she, S-H-I dot E-U. Anyway, you'll find all of these over on lizardwellbeing.com and I'll pop links in the caption. Just to say, course my birthday cover if you have not yet got the copy of the magazine oh my gosh you do need to get this one and there is a fantastic subscription gift you get a full mm -hmm. size from life armor the drops of balance which is this one if you're feeling a bit edgy really good to have these in your bag drops of balance and you get a little sample size as well um, to carry around with you of the drops of vitality love that brand you might have seen recently on my instagram stories i bumped into marishka who's the female founder of life armor they saved me during lockdown the slumber drops are just brilliant for sleep anyway i digress but just to say that if you subscribe if you take out your direct debit subscription to the magazine you get that sent to you free of charge um, and considering that they're £22.50, and I think the subscription's only like £30, um, it's a very, very good deal. And you get a free copy of the magazine as well, and you get free UK PMP. So what is not to love, as they say? That's it for today. I will be back in your ears tomorrow with a brand new episode of the Lizard Wellbeing Show podcast. Oh my goodness. You need to listen to this one. Chris Van Tullikum, the doctor, TV doctor, remember him? He's written the most brilliant book called Unprocessed People, and it's about ultra-processed food. And he and I, oh wow, we had the most brilliant chat. He is amazing. He's an NHS infectious diseases doctor, I think. I think that's his speciality. And he's written this incredible book. It's absolutely brilliant about ultra-processed foods. And the things that they're doing to us that we are not aware of 
it's an absolute must listen. I'm going to put it all over our social media because I really, really want people to listen to that. So if you're not yet listening, it's free. The podcast is free. You can be an early subscriber if you want to. You get the ad-free version on Apple Play. I think it's Liz Our Wellbeing Plus. Um, and you pay a small monthly amount and that gives you the ad-free version and it gives you the episode a day early. But otherwise, you know, just listen to it free of charge when it comes out, I think it's Friday tea time. Same time as our newsletter. If you're signed up to the free newsletter, then you'll get that. So a couple of freebies for you. Freebie Friday, we should call it, shouldn't we? Free newsletter and free podcast coming your way. I'll be back with you on Tuesday to pick up on something that we mentioned here today. MCT oil. Fascinating. Love it. Going to be doing a deep dive in that on Tuesday, so I hope you'll join me live. In the meantime, have a lovely weekend. Tune in to Liz L. Me Instagram to see a few behind the scenes of my birthday party preparations. I'm looking forward to all of that, celebrating with my extended family and a load of friends. So, anyway, thank you again for all your good wishes. Gosh, Rachel's just put almost 50 pounds off Eco Botanicals bundle when you add the Liz Loves code. Brilliant, thank you so much. Great to see you all. Thanks for being with me. See you next time. Bye-bye.